Hey there everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. So we got the three potions, now we're gonna see if they turn Sid back into a human. Is it working? Yeah, we can kind of see that. Improvement over the Oglop state, if anything.
Quina, please don't eat the regent. So yes, for the first time in the game, well, technically the first time was on disc 2, but for the first, really though, like for the first time in the game, we get to finally freely make a party, like whenever we want. So, yeah. This is my usual party. Zidane, Steiner, Aiko, and Quina. Though sometimes I substitute Quina for someone else. Like I said, I do want to try to use Amarant more on this playthrough. VV2, maybe. Quina needs to catch up in levels. But right now, I'm bringing Quina along because we got blue magic we need to learn. Anyway, this is also the first vehicle in the game. Well, if you don't count the, the Chocobo as a vehicle, but... Yeah, it's kind of crazy that it takes, like, over, like... It takes you until over halfway through the game to get access to your first vehicle in this game. Well... It won't get you as many places as an airship will, but... The Blue Narcissus will help us get to quite a few things, so... Yeah, the Black Mage Village is... Uh, somewhere. I think it's this one right here. There we go. Why is that so hard to control? I... Wait, maybe it's because I'm trying to use the D-pad to select it. Why am I doing that? But anyway. Yeah, let's uh, not go there quite yet. For one thing, we can finally continue Chocobo Hot and Cold now. And that's what we're going to do first. I think... I don't know. I would kind of like to go ahead and get the blue magic that I missed for Queena, but... Nah, I, I could do that in a little bit. There actually is something. You know, speaking of blue magic, though, I should get a blue magic for Queena right now. It is one of the best blue magics in the entire game. But I need to... There's a certain enemy that we can encounter on some beaches, and I need to uh, find one of those beaches. I think one of them down here will work for that. Let's try right here. Go ahead and save first. I guess we can also do all the ragtime mouse stuff now. Finish that up. Okay, not the enemy I was looking for, but we're on the right beach. Why was I thinking I had holy? Probably equip everybody properly. Hold on. Okay. 
Let's uh, go ahead and learn Carbuncle. Uh, I should probably finish teaching level up to Queena. Okay, looking good. Now let's see if we can find that enemy. Ah, here it is. This is a whale zombie. And as disgusting as it may sound, you want Queena to eat this thing. Unfortunately, it kind of screwed Zidane over right off the bat, or no, it didn't, because that missed. So yeah, remember, a Phoenix Down will um, immediately lower uh, an undead enemy to 1 HP. So that makes it extremely easy for Queena to eat this thing. And for eating it, we get level 5 death. And let me tell you, level 5 death is probably one of the cheapest magics Queena can get, if not the cheapest. So, we got that. I want to show you guys something else. Let me uh, go down here a bit. Sometimes I do a little bit of leveling up at this part in the game. There's a Q's Marsh we can go to in a little bit. So yeah, if you guys want to know how to gain some levels pretty quickly at this point in the game, this is what you do. You get level 5 death with a whale zombie, or from a whale zombie. Actually, I think these might appear on just about any island here, but I know for... F like, I, I'm pretty sure that they appear here. Let, let's save first. Just to be safe. Warning, there are incredible levels of cheapness incoming. But to show you guys, you know, just, just just to show you guys how cheap level 5 death is. Oh yeah, it's a grand dragon. Well, assuming we can survive Thundaga. We did not, and that's exactly why I saved. Oh! Oh, look who else we ran into. This is the other reason that I came down here. Okay, now, don't be tricked by this thing. See, it acts like a friendly creature because it asks you for an item. In this case, a diamond. But trust me, this thing is not friendly. If you give it a diamond, it'll basically just, it'll, it'll just steal it from you. It just takes your diamond and then runs away, so yeah, don't fall for it. So you may be wondering, why are we fighting this thing? Well, 
we can learn a certain something from it. I think it has about 6,000 HP. Okay, Steiner and Iko just shouldn't even attack. Yep, we got auto life. We could have learned that all the way back in disc two from those worm enemies in Clyra. And yeah, I felt pretty sore when I missed that. But thankfully we can also learn it from those things, from Gimme Cats, so yay. Now that we got that learned, let's go ahead and save again, and we're going to attempt to level 5 death a Grand Dragon. Okay, that's a good way to start. Blue magic, level 5 death. Yep. Arguably the second most dangerous random enemy you can encounter in the game, and it goes down by level 5 death. So yeah, there you go. That's why level 5 death is probably the cheapest spell in the game. But, rather than sitting here and abusing that, let's get on with Chocobo Hot and Cold, shall we? We don't really need to grind that much right now, and honestly those levels I got from that will do us good anyway. So let's go ahead and use some greens here. Now, we can get to the next um, Chocobo Hot and Cold location from here, but it's kind of a... Uh, it's a little bit of a maze. You'll see what I mean. See, the shallow waters around these islands form a little bit of a maze, and you have to follow this path until you can get around to what we're looking for. which is right here. It's the Chocobo's Lagoon. Hey, this is Choco. And that's going to present a problem. This is my least favorite part of all of Chocobo Hot and Cold. The first half of Chocobo's Lagoon. Because you only have 30 seconds, and we gotta dig up chocographs like this. 
when it comes to the actual like uh like mini game stuff that this um will probably take you the longest out of anything getting all the choke graphs that you can get at this particular moment even basic common items are very pretty deep Of course, since you can only explore half the lagoon right now, well, that also means the actual, you know, area you can find items in is also only half the size, so I guess it compensates for it a little bit, but still. I really don't like digging in Chocobo's Lagoon, at least not, not right now. Later on, this place becomes better to dig at, but, you know, for now, we just gotta deal with it. Is this a chocograph? Maybe? Ah, it's 200 gil. I think that's about how deep chocographs are usually buried here, though. Oh, this might be one. Oh, I got a chocograph piece. Nah, I won't complain about it, though. We need to get those anyway. Phoenix Pinion, but still no Chocograph. Now, this ain't gonna be one. Oh, is this one? Good. Oh, hey, that's quick. Hey, we might actually max out the items. Um, yeah, since you only get half time, you can also only get uh, four items in one game instead of eight. Ah, uh, looks like we're not doing it. Oh, well, we got a Chocograph. That's good. Oh, is this another Chocograph? Well, aren't I lucky? You know, I've always had fairly good luck finding chocographs overall. There's some people who say that they go for like an hour without finding a single one, but I don't think I have ever had odds that bad during Chocobo Hot and Cold. Like there's times where it'll, it'll take a while for me to get all the chocographs in an area, but usually I get them relatively quickly. Wait, is this another one? Are you serious? This is awesome! Hey, 
Yay, we did it. Oh, no way. Is this another one? Wow. <coughs> Have I seriously gotten one for, like, each of the past four games? I think I have. Wow. That went better than it has ever gone. That was great. Well, that is all the uh, Chocobo's Lagoon we can do for now. Chocographs can we find now? Okay, we can't get that one yet. Nor that one. No, actually, no, we could get that one actually in a little bit. Forgotten Lagoon, can we? I'm not sure if we can get that one yet. I think most of these we can get, though. Now that one's obvious. That one's near Trino. Yeah. Cannot reach the Dusk Plains yet. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the Cold Field one. Actually, we're going to be heading to a new continent for this one. Let's just head down and loop around the map. That'll get us there quicker. So yeah, here is the icy continent of the north. Not really anything we can really do here right now, but we can get this treasure. Oh, by the way... Oh, whoops. Never mind, I'll explain in a second. Okay, now the Chocobo tracks are somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. Okay, so what I was about to say, um, take a look at the hint for this. There are other things you can ride besides chocobos. You see, the first time I played this game, I was so confused trying to find this, because for some reason, I don't think I ever saw, um, I, I don't know, I mean, they're so obvious, but for some reason, I don't, like, I don't think I ever found these on my first playthrough, and I was so confused, because I was thinking that you had to ride, like, some other creature. Like, I, I thought it meant you could ride other creatures besides chocobos, and I had no idea how to get the treasure on this continent. <laughs> now, obviously, I realize it's referring to the ship, because, you know, you have to use the ship to get here. But I used to think it meant you could ride other creatures. Also, we can go ahead and drop in on this place real quick. Let's 
Esto Gaza. The O kind of looks like an A in the stylized name, but yeah, it's an O. Mysterious. I think we can buy some equipment here. It's probably really expensive, though. this shimmering island. That is a very good throwable thing for Amaranth. Is that, is that to talk to the bishop, or...? Okay. I like to say the same things, don't you? Now this door here is sealed, so we can't do anything here. we've done everything we can do here. But yeah, that island way over there, uh, that's the Shimmering Island, I'm pretty sure. Wait a sec. Was this guy standing here before? Oh. I thought someone here was new. I guess not. Maybe we can get this one now? You know what, let's find out on the next episode.
So yeah, next time we're doing more Chocobo Hot and Cold, and I think we'll finish the Ragtime Mouse stuff too. And get some more blue magic for Queena, and I think that, yeah, that should be good for the side quest for now. Oh yeah, we also need to do the Q's Marsh. Q's Marsh. Anyway, next episode, everyone. <laughs>